I mean, what was kind of going through your head when you learned you were going to be into the NAIA Hall of Fame? Kind of, kind of surprised by the news today. Uh, I just, you know, you just take the time, start reflecting of all the players and coaches I've had an opportunity to work with and just their impact on my life and the opportunity to get this award. How surprised were you this morning? I was, I was surprised. I really was. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I don't think of myself as being old enough for the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> and you talked about those, uh, those players and coaches you've impacted. But they've also left an impact on you and your life and have changed you as well. Just kind of talk about those relationships, relationships you've built with players and coaches throughout the years. Yeah, I mean, this is, a, this is a great game in terms of profession. You have guys that are they're with you for four years, and um, you really get to know them. You, you love them. You appreciate them. Um, they win a lot of games. I mean, I've coached some great guys, but they also impact your life in the things that you learn learn from them and grow from them. And uh, just this is just an amazing place, Sioux City, and the, the young men that we have, coaches and players, have been incredible. What does it mean to you to kind of rebuild the program from the ground up from when you started here? Uh, I mean, I mean, there's something to that, that, you know, we were able to build the program the way we, we wanted to just because it was kind of in a disarray. And so that gave us the opportunity to to do things that, you know, we wanted to do and maybe try some things. And and so uh, it, it, you grow to love the Morningside University and, and the success and the program you have, you feel real attachment to it. When you look back at all the accolades, is, is that is this one towards the top of the list? Is this one at the top of the list? <laughs> it's not at the top. Um, obviously, just winning a national championship in terms of accolades and that team accomplishment and all that goes with it uh, really is the, the highlight of everything. But, uh, uh, you know, what this award says is, hey, we appreciate that you did it for a long time. Uh, you stayed through the ups and downs and you stayed with us through it all. Sykes and I talked a little bit ago earlier this afternoon and he was amazed at how hungry you've stayed over these last years. What do you attribute that to just staying that determined, staying that hungry, <laughs> even through the national championships? I think young guys do that for you. You know, just have being around young people, uh, their hunger, their thirst. Um, you want every every time a new class of guys come in you want for them all those great experiences that other classes have had and i think that keeps it keeps me hungry that i just want to make sure that i don't let any player that comes to, comes here down on the opportunity to reach their potential it's, are there any years i mean obviously you got your national championships but are there any years that people don't really ask you about that you take great pride in of your guys your team's performance that year uh yeah, number one, just our first year going five and five. Uh, I just, you know, we went to Wayne State and started 17 freshmen and won that game. And I always am appreciative of that first class, that first group of guys, those guys that just stuck with me. You know, even the year we didn't have football, um, those those are really special guys to me. That first group of guys, just to get everything started. So talk about it like so you didn't know until you got the call of course so what were those emotions like i mean that first reaction that you heard when you're going to the hall of fame um you know i was excited you know i, I in, in all honesty uh, my first thought was hey this is a great honor i'm glad my dad's still alive to see it